next man is all the rage. The Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Very difficult challenge for the opponent here tonight. This is an outstanding first round fighter. Outstanding fighter overall. But the fight time of the UFC, not a lot, because more often than not, he gets the opponent out of there in round one. there by the Korean Super Bowl. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Nice jab. Keep those hands high. Back to the jab now, no good. All right, so a quiet pedestrian start to this fight, DC. Maybe too much respect on both sides. What do you see? Too much respect, and you saw it in the buildup. They were hugging at the weigh-ins. It's almost like we're watching Prince. You guys are here to fight. Get going. Start to implement the game plan that you worked on over the course of the last eight weeks in the fight camp. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Just touching him with the jab. Big shot lands for both of us. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, nice knee that is going on both. Straight right is there. He's got to start kicking, kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Great timing on that double leg. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Now he's got good body position, yup. Back mount now. Joy getting work from the top here. These ground and pound strikes very effective. Let's see if he tries to work his way back to his feet. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Busy in the clinch, lands that punch. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, misses with the jab. Great punch. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output in pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Choi's strike attempt there is blocked. Shots being landed on both sides. Oh, that opened up a cut on his forehead. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job. He's accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Able to land, but barely with that front kick. Oh, that's a nice inside leg kick right there. Pretty good straight punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, going for the takedown here. Choi's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Oh, back and forth we go. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Beautiful hands on display. Another punch lands. Final seconds here. Round two next. All right, 
right, that's the end of the round. Clearly a cut sustained there on his forehead, courtesy of that strike, so the cut man will have to close that up and try to prevent it from becoming an issue here as this fight moves forward. All right, back to the stools between rounds. That gives us time to look back at some of the replays, including some of those strikes that caused the damage, particularly to his forehead. Damage to the forehead. Expect a lot of blood, but when you look at him, he looks like he still wants to be in there. It does not seem like the blood is affecting him. Now, you could want to be there as much as you can, you want to, you ready to fight? but you got to do things ready. better defensively, or ultimately he's going to get you out of there. He's got to move his head, he's got to stay off the center line, and he's got to press forward, put his opponent on his heels. All right, put well. All of a sudden, we got a new storyline in this one, the cut on his forehead. We will keep an eye on it as this next round gets underway. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back-and-forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. All right, let's go. Get that head now. Oh, nice jab by Chor. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Shots landing on both sides here. Choi gets caught by the straight punch. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. And right now it's starting to show. Swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Unable to connect with the right. And then he throws an overhand right. When he gets close and he throws, he lands. Just misses with the left hook. Three minutes to go in round two. Lands the jab. Oh, another bruising shot right to the body. I wouldn't think you want to take too many more of those. No, John, you got to def you got to defend. You got to address a tactic that has worked this many times this early in a fight. You cannot allow it to continue to build because once that momentum gets going, you will have no way of stopping. It. And I don't have a lot of muscle over there, so I don't think I could take too many of these if I was a fighter. Well, you need that body like mine if you want to get hit down there. You can't be you can't be too skinny. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. Don't wait, don't wait. I need you to be first now. It's just out of range with that left hook. Lands a nice jab there. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Try to establish that jab. Protect your face. Good fight here under two to go. Solid kick by him there. You can catch a body kick, but you gotta step off to the side. You just can't take it clean. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. He's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. They're so evenly matched. They're going to the attack. Straight right hand now just misses. Under a minute to go now in round two. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one, DC. Well, you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And 
as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. He got on four ounce gloves. Take this dude down. Don't box him. He's too good at it. Oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. All right, we got a few clips for you, DC, of all the damage doled out in that round and his eye continuing to be the main target. I mean, he's getting hammered. He is getting hit in that spot over and over again. And because of that, his opponent has gained in confidence and he is very limited in what he can do in his approach because safety has to be first now. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we start. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, great block there. stoppage here. So the amount of blood, the amount of blood that is leaking from this guy. It's amazing that he's still standing. He has been beat up curl. Tonight is not going to be his night. Well, no denying that he brought the ball. That's as good a punch as he's thrown. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect. And that one landed perfectly. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Just over three minutes now to go. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now. But... His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Cut. Get the elbow. All right, so the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to landing those hooks. And I know you'd like to play Tony Romo. You think he goes back to it here? Well, I am almost certain that he's going to go back to that specific punch because it's landed every time he's thrown it. And as the fight has gone on, it is landing with more force and his opponent is starting to wear down. So I will not be surprised if we see another one that ends the fight. Oh, working hard to get back up again and he's there. Just missed with that right hand. 
Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete right now? Yeah, this is, this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, his corner can stop it, the referee can stop it, the doctor can stop it. Somebody needs to do something because this fight is over. Nice. Hook to the head there by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Right. Well, you got to think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. 45 seconds remain in the round. Let's go. Get behind that right. Rips the body there. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Nice punch to the head. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. 15 seconds to go. Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here, the punch is good. Oh, he might be a one-eyed fighter before too long. That right eye starting to shut. the championship rounds. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really open up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, Somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. You ready to fight? Ready. Good Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go to that extra 10 minutes. While well, the striking clinic continues and he's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking the damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an axe. He cannot be straight on the side. Oh, Here's the kick blocked by Choi. Establishing the jab here. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Right on the button. Oh, huge right hand! Oh, back to the overhand right, swing and a miss. Beautiful combination with the hand. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Tremendous head kick lands for this guy. He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. Oh, man. Under three minutes to go in round four. And that was a solid kick. Man, look at that jab right there. If he doesn't make some adjustments, Bobby's not going to recognize him. His nose is getting all switched. I mean, he's getting better. He's taking him right on the face, too. He's trying to play catch up. He's not moving his head in advance of the jab coming. This boxer is way too good to try to react to the shot opposed to get the head up. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Oh, 
Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Big shot for body. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally he is not back in. Big, big shots here. In the half guard. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. The Korean Superboy gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Nice job by him defensively there. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Nice straight right lance. Hook to the head there by Choi. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Oh! That'll do it! Do Ho Choi! Ho! One final time to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, one second of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still...